this is Nayela. Thank you so much for joining me again today. So what I thought I would do today is really do um, an explanation of guides because I think it's really important, especially for those that are maybe new to working with guides or newly awakening. It's really important when you are opening up to your guides that you really understand what you are opening yourself up to because you know just like humans the guides have got different personalities they some of them do have hidden agendas and it's very important to understand that and to really protect yourself as well so our guides are around us and really around humans right now to aid in the expansion of self-awareness and that's really what the ascension process is all about it's all about really expanding our consciousness and really understanding what we're all about as spiritual beings so the guides that are around us that want to help us they will be coming in gravitating towards us when we do start you know waking up to really try and guide us in the right direction the thing is, there will be lots of other, you know, entities and beings coming towards us at the same time because it's a very vulnerable um, time for for humans when they are awakening. You know, there's there's a lot of things, there's a lot of factors going on during this ascension. And if you are somebody who who is, you know, very, very you know, much waking up to everything all at once, then you're really opening yourself up to everything all at once as well, if that makes sense. So it's really important to understand that we get to choose what kind of experience we want to have. That is very important to hold on to that and it will help you as time goes by if you can just keep remembering that you have the power to choose what kind of experience you want to have. You are the creator here. So we need to get into the habit of really protecting our energy and protecting our body as well. That is very important to do that. When we are newly awakening, we really are opening ourselves up to the possibility of being manipulated or used to the gain of another entity and also if we are maybe not looking after ourselves so much or maybe in a habit of leaving our body then another entity can very much either you know use our energy manipulate our energy or actually take control of our vessel of our body as well that is something that that can happen so it's very important we claim and we own our vessel we own our our space so to speak we own our body we own our energy and we claim it as our own if we are not doing that then we are really leaving ourselves wide open to a lot of things happening um in our in our space in our energy space so these certain entities that do want to manipulate us what they will do is they will keep us in a lower level energy and then really feed off that energy. And it also, like I said, leaves us susceptible to being manipulated as well. So the higher our energy, the higher our vibration, the more we can connect with source energy and really fill ourselves up with source energy, the more we are protecting ourselves from that kind of thing happening. It's really important to stay connected and full of source energy as much as you possibly can because the lower level entities that will try and manipulate or feed off our energy, they can't handle that higher vibration. So the higher vibration you are in, the more you are really protecting yourself from that happening. 
it's important to listen to your body as well. The body will really guide you if there is anything around you that is going to be harmful to you. The body is on alert there and really indicating to you that you maybe need to go in a certain direction or, or do something to be protecting yourself. So please start connecting to your body, start listening to your body because it's really important you do that. A benevolent guide does not control you. They will not want to control you. They will explain, but they don't force. So if they are saying something's for your best interest, they will explain why they feel it is in your best interest or they will show you things to explain to you that, that it would be beneficial for you, but they will not you know, literally drag you towards something for you to do it. That is your choice to make. And a benevolent guide will always make that very clear that the end decision is always yours. So they may have an idea for you or, you know, really, you know, because they know you on a soul level, really try and guide you to go in a certain direction, knowing that, you know, that's that's going to really work for you. But they won't tell you you have to do this. They will not do that. The guides are very much teachers. And I know definitely my, my own guides, they will leave breadcrumbs in a way, you know, sort of things for me to follow rather than giving me the answers. You know, they want me to learn through this journey. They don't want to give me the answers. They will... Um, guide you to your highest potential and they will guide you and lead you to your best self. We do get to say no always. Any guide that is forcing something on you, any guide that is putting you in harm's way, any guide that is pushing you to do something that will either hurt yourself or hurt another is not a true a true guide they are entities that are feeding off you so it's very important to really distinguish the difference you know a benevolent guide will be there to help you and to support you just as you know humans are the same you know you you want a group of um people around you a network of people around you that are going to support you and be there for you and know that they've got your back and it is exactly the same with these guides as well now it's also important to understand that like we said before that you get to say no you get to decide who you work with and if there's anything coming towards you that you've got a, a not a nice feeling about for whatever reason then you have got the right to say I do not consent to you being in my space I do not consent to you being around me I'm saying no and if if they don't go, then what I found definitely works for me is just to blast that space with white light. Just, just imagine it either coming out of your heart or fill yourself up with source energy and then push that energy out and make sure it fills all the corners and just make it very clear and even say it if you have to, just say this is my space, this is, you know where I I live or this is where I sleep or wherever, wherever it is, I do not consent to you being here at this time because I know, you know, there, there is many sort of ancestors and, and spirits and even in, in old houses, you know, there will, there will be spirits and they, they may be, you know, very benevolent, but if you don't want them around you, then that's entirely up to you, especially if you're trying to sleep and you've got that going on, you know, you're entitled to your sleep. Also, what I will say about ancestors as well, it's important to understand that you may be connecting with ancestors that have still got a lot of um, healing to do themselves. So if they were perhaps, you know, maybe a dodgy character before they, they passed, then 
it it may be that they've still got that same signature energy coming towards you so be very mindful of what you're letting into your energy it's just the same on the physical as it is here working with spirit guides and um, interdimensional beings as well it's exactly the same so if you don't want a certain energy around you in the physical then very likely you're not going to want that same energy around you you know working with you energetically and on a spiritual level as well so a guide will never get you to do things um, that are going to harm you but they they may very well likely try and get you to do something that's maybe going to make you feel uncomfortable you know push you out of your comfort zone and get you to face your fears and this is all to aid growth so there's a there's a difference here you know they're not going to put you in harm but they may get you to do something that initially doesn't feel very good but that that is the difference here it's it's to push you to grow rather than to push you into harm's way so our reality is created through our conscious and unconscious thoughts our emotions and our intents and it's very important to understand that we are creating our own reality so this is again very much the same so what kind of you know guides do you want around you what kind of life do you want to be living so it, again it's very important to really own and claim your space because if you are in a place of fear or where you're second guessing yourself and not really trusting your intuition then these lower level entities will take advantage of that. They will come in, they will try and manipulate you. So it's very important to do that inner work, to know yourself inside out. And the, the guides that are there supporting you, they've been, most of them have been there since your birth, very much there waiting in the wings to connect with you. Whereas these other ones are very much opportunists. They're coming in, trying to take advantage. So know yourself know what you're all about really trust in your gut feeling trust in your intuition and like i said fill up yourself with with source energy as much as you possibly can because those low level entities they do not like that high vibrational energy they very likely will not come near you i know definitely for me the higher my vibration, the higher it gets, the less I am, you know, involved with the low level entities now. It's not really um, on my radar, so to speak, anymore. For me personally, I, I am just working with the, the, the ones that very much are, are wanting me to keep pushing forward to the, to the next level. So we are moving into a place where we can come together and pull in what kind of collective reality we want as well. So again, this is all connecting with, with the guides here as well. So what kind of energy do you want to be coming into to this um, reality, not only for yourself, but for others as well? And the guides that are really trying to push us forward collectively, they're trying to really get that message forward to us as well. You know, what are we what are we feeding into because we as a collective are almost like voting for our future here with what energy we are sort of what our energy is going towards if that makes sense so if we are you know really feeding into a world that is full of war that is full of you know crimes that is full of you know all, all these monstrosities and and you know really you know darker energy we will start seeing more of that darker energy so what the guides will really be trying to get us to do like i said is really move into a higher frequency into a much higher vibration so that we won't be having that that same sort of reality in the future and it's not trying to pretend that it's not happening right now because it's very obvious that that kind of stuff is happening right now but if we are doing that inner work individually then it is going to help us collectively to move forward into something that is going to help us all that is going to benefit us all and something that's going to be a lot you know healthier for us all as well 
So anything we imagine can manifest into being. Therefore, we really want to focus on what will most benefit us as a whole, as a collective. And again, this is really going back to our guides as well, because, you know, we are magnificent creator beings. So whatever kind of being you can imagine exists. So do you want to be imagining, you know, a, a type of being that does all kinds of, you know, really heinous things? Or do you want to be, you know, imagining that these guides coming in that want to help us and support us and be there for us? Because the more we feed into these higher vibrational energies that are coming in to help us, that's more of what we're going to get. If we are dropping into fear and imagining that things are out to get us, that even I know it's difficult because these things are happening but the more we feed into it the more of that we're going to get so it this is understanding that we are voting for the reality we truly want with our time and with our attention so it, it's really important we protect our energy and understand that it's it's our life you know it, it's your life it's your energy and it's your experience. So what type of experience do you want? Do you want um, beings and, and guides and interdimensional beings around you that are aiding and supporting and being there for you? Or do you want things that, you know, that are hindering progression, that are keeping you stuck and that are just using you at the end of the day? Like I said, it's exactly the same as what's happening on, on the physical, as what's happening on the, the spiritual realms as well. So what are you allowing into your reality? Because, again, what you are allowing into your reality on the physical plane will very much be an indication of what's going on on the spiritual levels as well. So setting intentions is so important with this. And I've just been, you know, guided to share with you what I say before doing readings and energy work. So I'm just going to get that right now. So I, I have some words here that I say all the time before I start doing readings or start working with, with clients. So I always shield myself, I always shield my energy and I use different colour bubbles around me. But I, I generally seem to be using a lot right now a, a golden light bubble. So I will actually say I shield myself within my golden light bubble. I will only let in the highest of pure raw love consciousness. I deflect all negative energy. And so it is, so it was, and so it shall always be. And I'll say that every time I do a reading or, or work with somebody as a you know a client and then I um say another thing as well so they're asking me to share that with you too so I will say I am an open and clear channel for the divine spirit I ask source my guides my angels the divine spirit dragons unicorns fairies all from the highest of pure, raw love consciousness, in life, in love, in righteousness, to please guide me, support and protect me, to see through my eyes, to hear through my ears, to speak through my voice, to love through my heart, to heal through my presence and to keep my ego out of the way. Please, with permission, allow the answers to come through and then if I'm using cards, I'll say come through the cards in an intuitive way. Or if I'm just tuning in with the energy, you know, I'll, I'll just maybe change it and swap it around. So my intention is to connect fully with the client for the highest good and the highest good of all concerned. So when you are opening yourself up to work with a new guide or 
you know, maybe whatever is coming in, a new energy, it's really important to set the intention that you are only allowing in the highest of that energy. So I say the highest of raw consciousness, the highest of pure raw conscious energy. And that is really protecting yourself from those lower level energies coming in. It's really important you do that. So it's really important to feel into the energy of the guides, of that energy that is coming in towards you. And if you don't like it, you don't have to work with them, you know, just state that you don't consent to them being in your space. Please leave because you get to choose who you work with. And this works with your guides as well. If you feel for whatever reason that you don't like that energy, that you're not, you know, connecting with that energy, then this is your space. You're entitled to send that away if you want to do that. And you don't have to say why. It doesn't matter why. If you feel something's not quite right, then claim your space and make it very clear that you don't consent to that energy being around you. The violet flame is another really good energy to have around you to protect yourself too. So real, sort of imagine, um, get a clear image of the violet flame and imagine it Imagine it all around you and filling your energy field, filling your aura and all your your space, your room, your house, you know, maybe um, make a bubble of the violet flame as well, because that's another really good energy that will protect you, that will protect your space. Also, perhaps maybe think about using things such as sage or incense as well. Just find something that, that you feel works for you. We're all very different here. We've all got, you know, different needs and different likes. So you just play around with it and, and figure out what works best for you. Be very mindful of what and who you allow into your home and who you allow into your space as well. Because many... Um, people do have you know a attachments do have entities attached to them um, darker energy attached to them without them actually realizing and when you are opening up and becoming a lot more sensitive to that they can actually you know jump from one one person one human onto another um, human or, or just attach themselves to certain things as well so again if you don't have a very good feeling about somebody or somebody else is going through something you know you may want to think about you know do you really want them in your space and it's not selfish at all to do that to be thinking of yourself here because that, that's where you live at the end of the day you know it's your space so be very mindful of who you're letting into your space as well be also very mindful of what you are exposing yourself to. So we've just said, you know, such as certain people, if you feel like you can't, you know, protect yourself or you don't fully understand how to do it at this point, it may be best to, you know, not have them in your home or be mindful of who you're, you're hanging around with, basically. Also, music, food, certain foods, films, Drugs, alcohol, certain buildings, they all will have an energetic imprint. They all may have darker, lower level and is attached to them as well that, you know, may, may attach themselves to you or af affect your vibration and really open yourself up to the lower level and is not all energies coming towards you will have your best interests at heart again this is just like humans you know not all humans are, are coming towards you because they want to be your friend because they want to help you it's exactly the same with um you know the the, the guide so to speak if they are posing as guides initially to get your attention to get in towards you but they don't have your best interests at heart so be very mindful of that be a step ahead of them. You know, if you are somebody who's just 
waking up if you are somebody who is just starting to you know open up to the, this this part of life to this side of life then be a step ahead here protect yourself protect your energy straight away and shine your light so bright that only those of the purest intent will be able to stick around you you know that will protect you straight away because if they are lower level be it humans or be it spirits or whatever it is they will not be able to stand you shining so bright you know you will repel them so that is another way to protect yourself you know shine as bright as you possibly can and then only those of the purest intent will be able to hang around you so I hope that has helped you I can't think of anything else at this moment that I feel um, to share with you I probably will think of something afterwards um, yeah I hope that has helped you if you've got any questions and you know please get in touch with me or leave a comment below I'm sending you all my love and wishing you all the very very best and I hope to see you again very very soon goodbye for now mm -hmm.